take off the condenser and uh, keep the condenser clean. By using some water, you can make it clean enough. Just to take uh, every part of the rotary evaporator out of the box. This is the vacuum gauge. Install the motor. Next, the boiling flask with the glass tube, which is inside of the motor. Now it's the condenser using the flange and gasket. To now connect the condenser with the motor. Please pay attention to put some vacuum grease in which joint of the every joint of the rotary evaporator such as the joint between condenser and the motor and the, the flasks with the glass tube also the joint condenser connected which with the receiving flask put some vacuum grease please pay attention to make the clean of the joint we take off all the foam particles out of the condenser. If the foam particle will impact the vacuum degree of the whole system. Pay attention to this feeding wall. If the plastic tube is too hard to connect with the glass part, then make it warm and it will it will become easier to connect with the feeding wall. The last part is the 